Huh, me, a gift? Are you trolling? Why would you get me anything? It's not like it's my special day. Fine, fine, I'll open it, but for the record, this is weird. I didn't get you anything, unless you want me to be cheesy and say, oh, I'm a gift in myself. Whore, whore, whore. You got me a toothbrush. Are you trying to get smart and tell me something? Hmm? Then what is it for if not for my oral hygiene? Wait, you know about that? What the heck? You've been researching up on us croc girls? Dang, I knew it was a good idea to pick you. I always did wonder what made you accept me, but I guess it's just my raw awesome, clearly. Not many people have the jaw strength to crush bones with one simple crunch. Ugh. Um, well, I'm gonna be upfront with this. I've never been in this, uh, scenario before. Like, someone taking direct care of me, if you want to call it that, so I'm a little awkward right now. Maybe if you sit down on the bed with me, we can start with my arms, I guess. Nice and simple and not weird or anything. I guess this helps in between the scales, so... I really appreciate this gesture. You know you don't have to if you can't be bothered. Right? I'm chill. Ah, oh, well, I guess here goes. Oh, that's, um, that's really pleasant. Thank you. How uh, long do you think you can do it for? Not that I'm demanding any more or anything, just. I like it. Maybe after a while you can do my face scales. The thick scales are to be able to withstand the heat of the sun. The larger scales I have are to reduce water loss through the sun exposed skin. Just like human skin, if a croco girl stays in the sun too long, the skin will dehydrate and become uncomfortably dry. Thankfully, I've never made that mistake yet. I heard the flaking stage can be so icky. It feels nicer to scratch until you bleed rather than to just leave it. Huh? Yeah, I have lotion. Oh, um, no, I don't need you, I don't need, um, help putting it on, I, I promise. Pampering me. <laughs> Can you tell I've never had someone look after me before? <laughs> Seems a bit like an abstract concept right now, but I could get used to this. Having someone bend over backwards for me sounds, uh, not bad at all. <laughs> it's a nice feeling when the bristles go in between each scale. Like a light scratching sensation, but the good kind. And before I want you to do this all night long for me. <laughs> Should have thought about that before you offered though. Thanks for looking out for me. I'm serious. I know I struggle to communicate and get my point across, but I am directly thanking you for putting time and effort into me and making sure I'm comfortable. It's nice I have a human around that 
doesn't judge me or look at me funny. People think they are sly when they take a photo or giggle about me to their friend. I get it. I'm a croco. I stand out with my tail, but... <sighs> I just want to blend in. I have yet to come across another monster girl around here. I might need to get my tushy off my video games and get out more. The sun shines good for me. It makes me feel a little bit more energetic after a few minutes in the warmth. Um, do you think it would be okay if you did the scales on my face now? I'll cross my legs so I can turn in your direction. Ta-da! Not bad, huh? Gosh, why am I nervous about this? Looking at him directly in the eyes. I guess I never did notice our height difference. Uh, his hand is touching my face. He's tilting my chin up slightly. Uh, what is this doing to me? I think I'm either touch or starved or I have some issues. His hand is so warm. I think I could get used to that. Is he smirking or am I just imagining that? Why do I feel like I'm in one of those animes where the protagonist is completely blind to what he's doing and just being super attractive to the girl? Ugh. I need to snap out of it. This is my caretaker. I don't want to make things weird around us. It would ruin everything. Plus, there's nothing wrong with fantasizing. I'm sure I'm just being silly. I have been lonely, but that's my problem to deal with. I'm not entitled to anything. I can keep it fantasy and just enjoy the moment. I wonder if I could ever put him in a situation where he would be the one blushing. I could get him to brushy brushy my tail, maybe. Uh, hmm. Is that the wisest choice? I've never let anyone touch it before. To have his strong hands going over it. Going section by section and all of the grooves. Oh. It can hurt to ask in the moment. Operation Make Master Blush is in effect. What about my tail? It's a little heavy, but here, I can rest it in your lap. <laughs> it's heavy, right? Makes me pretty strong and well-grounded. Have to have some powerful thighs to carry this around, huh? Think it's okay to brush the two ridges that come on <laughs> I'm fine, yeah, it's good, just didn't expect that. <laughs> I was supposed to make him blush and I ended up making a fool of myself. <sighs> That's in a shockwave through the tip of my tail to the top of my forehead. I feel compathitated, like I want to start Purring. Oh, that's mortifying. I don't think he knows that we crocodile girls purr. Oh, sorry. It kind of slipped out. It just means I'm really content and want more. I'm sorry. Uh huh? It's cute. You're just saying that. The noise is too weird to be cute. Although if you don't mind, it comes to me quite naturally to do.
It's getting harder and harder to keep my eyes open. And maybe you lie down and I get up on top so you can brush my tail more. Mm, so comfy. Mm-hmm. 